Hi everyone, my name is Evgeny Kashin and I'm with my colleague Yuri Zvetsky who would uh, tell you about how a neural network art gallery works. And uh, the content of our talk would be the next one. First of all, we would uh, tell you about gallery. Next would be more technical part about Style Gun and Style Gun 2. Uh, after that, my colleague Yuri would tell uh, you how to find the best images, uh, how to get paintings by text request, and how to improve all this by titles generation and uh, uh, how to get 4K images. Okay, and uh, probably first 20 minutes would be mine, and the next 20 minutes would be Yuri's. Um, long story short, how this all uh, began, it was a uh, previous uh, summer and uh, I decided to make a pet project of uh, art uh, image uh, generation to print it in my t-shirt and uh, I printed it and my friends uh, liked it and uh, they also uh, uh, like uh, uh, how it looks and uh, also would like to get something like that because of that I made a simple site with uh, this generated t-shirts and you could just click to image and download and print it in your own t-shirt and uh, yeah it was like uh, really popular and uh, we with Yandex decided to continue this and uh, make it uh, more advanced and uh, add uh, more features and uh, improve uh, quality of images. And uh, uh, it's like uh, how this uh, gallery looks uh, now. Um, we change concept to uh, art gallery and it has a limited amount of pictures. Uh, as I remember, 4,000 in uh, each uh, uh, theme city nature people and uh, mood and uh, each painting uh, has its own uh, name title and uh, owner and uh, you could get only one uh, painting and uh, when you get it you should uh, leave your name and other people couldn't uh, get uh, this image in full resolution they could um, uh, see only the preview of this image and the name of uh, owner yeah and uh, the quality quality was uh, much better than previous iteration the also the model is uh, really have a smooth transition uh, in this latent space and uh, we could generate uh, such uh, animation of transition between different paintings Okay, probably it's enough. What's about data? Uh, we used a lot of uh, paintings data and uh, approximately 40k images of uh, 33 different uh, styles. Um, why you should uh, know about style gun? Because next would be more technical part about how all this uh, stuff works. And uh, I would like uh, that uh, even if you're an artist, uh, uh, you also should know uh, a little bit how does it work. Uh, there are a few reasons, maybe even more. Uh, first of all, to uh, have opportunity to tune uh, GIPA parameters more wisely, uh, to train it on your own data because um, on other domains uh, it could uh, have uh, other parameters to fit uh, your data better. Also, after you would uh, know about uh, inside of style gun, uh, you wouldn't treat uh, this model like a black box, something magical. Uh, you could uh, um, like discuss it with other guys uh, who also know about style gun. And uh, also, you, come, you can come up with new applications because previous video of transition wouldn't be possible if I uh, just uh, 
didn't know how this uh, model work because uh, I know how it works. I know that it has uh, really um, nice latent space and we could uh, generate transition, smooth transition between that. And uh, last of all, because uh, it's just fun and probably interesting to know how it works. Uh, let's begin with um, previous models uh, before style gun. Uh, before style gun, uh, generator always uh, looks something like that. It has a uh, uh, latent variable uh, at the beginning, Z. It's just uh, 100 random numbers. And after that, uh, it go through the network and uh, the, mm, the size of uh, image uh, increase and after each layer. And at the end you get um, 40, uh, 64 by 64 pixel image uh, and uh, the result uh, results usually was not so good it uh, uh, how it looks if you would uh, train it on paintings and probably it isn't enough uh, for our nice gallery and uh, this results of uh, style gun uh, this model was used in um, t-shirt uh, site uh, and uh, it's already much better than uh, uh, what you saw in previous slide this one um, yeah but it isn't like uh, the best that uh, we have today um, but it's much better than all previous models before style gun and style gun it is model from nvidia ai lab and it has uh, uh, 1000 by, by 1000 uh, resolution of output images uh, which also like uh, really good and uh, let's look to this architecture of course it's a little bit more sophisticated than previous one uh, but uh, we get more quality at the end and uh, first improvement uh, comparing with the previous models is uh, this mapping network. Um, it feeds uh, to the generator network not just random uh, latent variable Z, but it uh, processes uh, this uh, latent uh, variable through few fully connected layers and uh, make uh, another latent variable W, uh, which uh, has more meaning inside. For example, uh, in W, uh, variable model could encode uh, some uh, more high-level concept for example like which, uh, uh, which uh, style or which genre of uh, paintings uh, uh, would be produced by generator um, the next improvement is Adain layer it is kind of a normalization layer which uh, help uh, to train model more stable and uh, more fast and also it uh, it helped to inject uh, this uh, latent variable w to the generator because previously a latent variable go only at the beginning of generator and now uh, it inject uh, on each uh, layer and because of that probably generator uh, don't forget about what uh, it should generate. Addition of noise also helps uh, and um, if uh, you would add the noise to the after each layer uh, in generator it will produce better results. Yeah, it's simple and you could use it uh, on other uh, models in deep learning too. And also engineers of NVIDIA noticed that uh, constant input uh, uh, would uh, produce better result than, um, than latent variable at the beginning of generator. Uh, also they used uh, progressive growing techniques uh, of training and it help, uh, helps uh, get um, results faster and um, Mm, to train uh, model easier because model start training from 
really small resolution 4x4 pixel and uh, then in, then it uh, drains a little bit and uh, after that we increase uh, resolution by factor of 2 and uh, so on. At the end uh, we get uh, training on 1000 by 1000 uh, pixel resolution uh, and uh, it could help um, mm, to train model in more stable way. But uh, there is uh, some disadvantage of style gun because it uh, times of uh, training it's really big and if you have only one GPU and you would like to get big images uh, you should uh, spend uh, 40 days of training as Nvidia say uh, and uh, it's for face domain in other domains it could be a little bit uh, less for example uh, for uh, paintings it uh, would be probably half of uh, these numbers and uh, it would be a little bit faster but uh, anyway you should have a lot of NVIDIA GPUs yeah also it have um, some problems with uh, mm, output images first of all it is uh, uh, droplet artifacts it uh, kind of blobs on images in random place which is not very nice also uh, for example in face domain then you try to fa uh, to turn face on image uh, face would uh, turn but uh, teeth uh, of um, person wouldn't uh, turn and uh, it's not very good because of that, uh, Nvidia produce and release uh, probably years ago, year ago, uh, Style Gun 2, and uh, it uh, improved results of Style Gun first and um, fix all these uh, artifacts. And uh, as you can see, uh, results of uh, mm, generated arts, it's much uh, mm, better. And uh, also you shouldn't spend a lot of time on cherry picking nice images because uh, uh, probably it's even just uh, random images but uh, to get uh, nice images from first style gun you should uh, spend uh, mm, a little time to find uh, uh, nice uh, results. And uh, what is improvements? Uh, what, what are improvements of uh, style gun 2? First of all it is a uh, weight weight uh, demodulation. Mm, it uh, helps to fix these droplet artifacts, and uh, uh, they replace Adain layer with uh, this uh, weight uh, demodulation. Adain normalizes activation after each layer, uh, and uh, weight demodulation normalizes not activation but uh, weights itself. Um, yeah, and uh, it. Uh, it just works better. Next is path length regulation. First of all, in first version it was just uh, metrics uh, which show you how good is your model and now they decide uh, to use it like um, uh, part of the loss and optimize it too. And uh, in general words it just uh, show you how smooth your latent space and uh, yeah, it um, also help with better results. Uh, to remove these artifacts uh, with uh, teeth, as I showed uh, previously, they uh, just uh, drop progressive growing. And um, now they train uh, from the beginning in big resolution and at each layer they produce a RGB image. Uh, at first level it would be short, uh, it would be small, uh, at uh, next levels it would be uh, bigger and uh, at the end all these uh, RGBs is uh, just uh, added together and it is final image. And uh, really simple improvement, they just uh, use bigger networks and it also improve uh, quality. Um, what else you could uh, do with style gun as an artist? Uh, first of all, 
of course it is generating of uh, different kind of um, things first of all it was uh, uh, face images but uh, as uh, you see we used it uh, for paintings you could use it for anything what uh, have enough uh, data it could be cat dogs whatever and uh, yeah it's really can mm, it really can mm, produce something creative uh, next application and uh, it is uh, manipulation with images uh, with help of style gun we in Yandex uh, a lab uh, made a paper about it uh, and uh, it about faces you could uh, manipulate uh, with um, faces uh, inside the style gun latent space for example you could uh, find um, the latent vector of gender or of age and uh, change uh, gender or age of person uh, or something uh, another maybe expression and uh, after that you could uh, just train uh, image to image network and uh, apply it to real world uh, data it's uh, the general idea of our paper also with style gun you could um, um, generate transition between different domain for example in this um, slide you see that uh, first domain is uh, cats and other domain is wildcats and um, uh, you could just uh, mix these uh, models uh, it's first and two it's style gun too and um, get a transition from cat to wildcat so to get something between and uh, any other kinds of experiments with uh, mixing different domains for example if you would search in twitter approximately every day uh, you could uh, find new application of uh, style guns and um, yeah it's really interesting to see how creative uh, are people with a style gun how they mix different domain and uh, yeah i really suggest you to see and uh, to follow these people yeah and um, next uh, yuri continue our talk about art gallery thank you